You're about to see my formula for creating the best Shopify product page ever. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning back in and if you guys are new to the channel Welcome, my name is Matthew and I make daily Shopify videos to help you guys with your Shopify dropshipping stores So guys the last couple days my channel has been growing at a great rate actually for like probably the last 30 days I had like 100 subscribers this month and to show you guys my gratitude and to show you guys how happy I am because of all this Because I upload every day what I'm gonna be doing is giving away a 15 minute consulting call every single video so every day I'm gonna be announcing the new winner in my videos and all you got to do to enter my contest is just comment below one thing that you're grateful for and you guys know how obsessed I am with positivity and thinking positive law of attraction so you know starting just by writing one grateful thing a day is so beneficial to you and if you win hey that's just an added bonus so we can have that 15 minute conference call do whatever you want talk about your store ads whatever you guys want totally up to you so definitely don't forget to subscribe because you know every single day I provide so much value and now you know you got to stay informed make sure that you're watching the videos to see if you won because I'm not going to be hunting for you you got to come to me <laughs> so one of the things I see the most on group forums and reddit is that people are talking about their ads and how many clicks they're getting on their ads and how how many people they're getting to their store so the amount of traffic they're getting to their store but what they're never getting is conversions and people converting on their store which means that the ad itself is doing its job however the product page is probably where the website is falling short so in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys my exact formula for making a product page so let's jump onto my computer and I'll show you guys exactly how all right guys so here is my step-by-step -step formula for making a product page so I'm actually gonna show you guys an example after we go through this but let's go through this first so you guys get an idea of my rationale and thinking so very first thing is what I'm gonna have is some kind of authenticity proof so having we accept Visa MasterCard secure payments SSL Shopify payment secure something like that that tells the customer right away under the buy box that this is a safe spot to buy the product right that's the first thing and that you see on almost every website this is very standard across the board and it is a very good thing to have on your website Website. Now I move on to this attention grabbing PNG. So this is actually a PNG you can put on any background. And first of all, it just looks really great. Two arrows, a bunch of different texts. We have some impact text, we have some cursive. So nice, attractive attention grabbing with two arrows. And what I'm going to do is point that to my promotion. So whatever promotion I have on the website, I'm actually gonna be promoting it there. So I'll show you guys an example as soon as actually I'll show it to you guys right now. So I'll have it pointed at something like this just a really average text box nothing special here I just make it on Canva I save it as a PNG and that's gonna be it for for that right it's just gonna be that promotion today only save 30% and get free shipping so it's gonna be pointing there and people are gonna be looking and be like oh shoot that's today only they're gonna feel the scarcity and they're gonna see the countdown timer so things are really gonna get into perspective for them in their minds they're gonna realize that they're gonna have to make that choice now so because of that hopefully the whole goal of this is that it's gonna grab their attention and they're gonna be brought into reading the next part of that sales page so this is mostly for those people who aren't convinced right away you're gonna definitely get people who get on the page and are like oh I want this right and they're gonna buy it but a lot of people are also gonna need some convincing so you're gonna put a short description and instead of heading or paragraph you're gonna put it in block quote and block quote what it's gonna do is just put two lines above it put in a specific font make it look nice and attention grabbing as well so here I just write a short description that's built on the the ad copy so basically what that means is that if I'm mentioning how soft a pillow is an ad copy I'm gonna kind of move on with that I'm gonna build upon that and keep selling them on that same idea next we're gonna put in a photo or a gif when somebody's clicking on your ad from a Facebook or social media page they're used to getting bombarded with media with infographics not just text right even when you're on Instagram or Facebook you're not looking at those huge memes that are text bubbles right you want to read the easy stuff that's why on a meme there's like two lines and that's it you don't have the attention on social media it's not why you're there so we have to have media on our page we have to have things that break up these giant text bubbles so customers don't get overwhelmed not saying they're stupid or anything they're just not used to it so I'll show you guys this part right now let's go take a look so you guys have an idea now so moving on as you guys can see looks really nice I love these two lines and especially with this image here it looks like it's kind of just like sitting on it it blocks out this too so it it's its own separate description people want to read it and then here we have the gif and to make gifs it's really easy all you're gonna do is just highlight something from your video ad and then export it and just put it into a Giphy file. It's really easy. There's like websites, you guys can find them, you're not stupid. Yeah, what I like about GIFs is that, as opposed to videos, I know a lot of Shopify websites, and I even used to do this, is just embed a YouTube video, but for people to watch that, they have to click it and watch it. Whereas, as soon as they start scrolling, or as soon as the GIF is seen, they start seeing some features 
on the product. So here again, I'm showcasing how fluffy and soft and cute it is. All right, and if we go back, right, we're gonna follow that same format twice, basically. So now we're gonna talk about bullet points addressing features it saves. And then again, we're gonna break it up with a GIF that shows some kind of feature. And the way I find my bullet points is I just go on Amazon, I find the product that I'm looking for, and I'll literally just copy paste it into a note file or a page file and just edit it, make it seem a little bit more tuned for my product, kind of change it up if it's not well written, because a lot of Amazon products are not well written. And that's gonna be it. So I'll show you guys that part right now. And then again, a GIF. So see, so something like this, squeeze it yourself is kind of like a call to action in my mind. And what I do is I just write into bullet points, clicking this button, numbered list, and I'll just hold the main feature so high quality and safe material, ideal gift for your kids, great decoration choice, cute and good friend. So stuff like that. And I'll just go on and write more about it, make sure that the stuff makes sense. And then finally, I'll just cut it off here with, with a dashed line and I'll give them the guarantee of my website. So I'll just talk about it here, you know, very simple stuff. You guys can go on the website and check it out yourselves. And then finally, I'll end it off with another call to action. And underneath the call to action is going to be another piece of authenticity. So the credit cards we accept and stuff like that. And I'll show you guys that right now. So if we go down here, right, we see that again, and that guaranteed safe checkout. And then we also have just some more social proof. If people are going to get down here, you know, we'll have the frequently bought together. And finally, we'll have reviews. So that's how I like to make my product page. It's really, really simple, guys. This should be like a 15, maybe 20 minute process. And you only need to make these like really, really detailed product pages for the products you intend to market. Otherwise, you don't really have to worry about it, which is great. And let me show you guys what this is gonna look like on mobile. So like I've said in a bunch of my videos, I only use mobile targeting because it just works so well on mobile targeting and it looks amazing. I love the way this product page looks. Everything fits, there's no wasted white space. Everything is nice and condensed all on one page, right? They scroll down. This is such a nice size. The GIF right there to give them right away a product feature to see it in action. That's the beauty about the GIF. Same thing here. And then finally, they get that PAX guarantee. They get to see this. They get to see the frequently bought together and they see the reviews. So it's one big scroller to keep trying to sell them on products. And we have so many related products, free shipping, got questions, and then the footer. So everything looks really good in my opinion. And you know, this has always worked for me. You guys should definitely try it out if your product pages are you know looking like standard Obolo imports, you are not gonna make sales unless it's like some killer product, but you are not making sales and you guys gotta change something. If you're getting all those clicks, you gotta change something. Anyway guys, again, thank you so much. If you got to this point of the video, thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, join the contest. Go write one thing you're grateful for. If not for the contest, just do it for yourself. It feels good, always makes you feel better when you write about things you are grateful for. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for tomorrow's because I'll be announcing the winner of today's video. Peace.